Capricorn, thank you for joining me. This is Kim. I'm going to do your next 48-hour reading. It's just going to be a little short reading to let you know what energies you might come and encounter with. They can be reversed, too, um, depending on your situation. So call in your angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power for Capricorn, so that we can get messages that are for their most high and let's start Capricorn to overarching archetype energies. If that's not a mouthful. All right, let's see here. We have one, two, three. All right, we have Cairo. And we have the vessel, the underworld, and then we have a gapey on the bottom, which is uh, unconditional love and devotion. So that's really great. The vessel. Cairo. Oh, so that's weird. I look, I'm looking at that a little different than I normally do. The vessel I usually look at as like your vessel, what holds you in place, um, what contains you, like the skin, like your body of this vessel. I'm also thinking I'm getting car transportation. I don't know why, but that's come that's popping up with the vessel, and, and maybe because boats can be named the vessel, right? It might be because of that, but this is something that's going to get you from one place to the next, and the goal is to treat it as good as possible so that it is maintained and keeps up with you, just like a body, so it could be both. Cairo is explaining that there are synchronicities and signs that you might need to start noticing more of. They are out there. There doesn't have to be the universe putting more out there. You, you It's all about you acknowledging uh, the simple things that are trying to get your attention. I can't talk right now for some reason. It's the last reading and I'm like stuttering and everything. So anyway, um, the underworld is a place where good things can be found. It does represent kind of like a dark space and, and it represents the space of when we pass over, if we're gonna talk literally, where we go for a moment while we're in transition. I look at the underworld as exposing the seedy underbelly, like the underbelly of um, the, you know, the, the government, the underbelly of our drug problem in the US, the underbelly problem of how many people are still starving. I mean, it's just, there's so many things that we can look at that we can see it for its truth that would be considered pretty bad or horrible to look at, especially considering our circumstances. Uh, being what they are compared to some peoples on this earth. So I think it has to do with realizing how truly blessed that we are. So let's look at the Urban Tarot. We're going to get a little spread for you. It will add more to these uh, archetypal energies. Urban Tarot for Capricorn. What is the issue? Goodness. I'm not going to take that. I just need one card for the issue. Or two, but not three. There we go. One card. The Emperor. You might be dealing with someone in this deck. I'm going to tell you what this means. In the deck. In this particular deck, this card means dominance over things like rules and regulations. Um... What we see, what is broadcast to us, people that have dominion over that, people that have dominion over what fuel sources that we're told to use. These are global leaders that you see the reef on his head, that this person is really respected and even feared in some groups. Um, and, and the thing is, is that that's not a good thing for this card. The Emperor has light and dark sides. This is really solely focusing on the dark side. It's ruled by Aries, which sometimes can be about anger. And I think that's what this Emperor is representing right now. What is the vessel that's carrying us to these important decisions? Wh whose body is carrying the power for these decisions? I think that's something we just need to ask ourselves first. Let's see, what is the challenge? Challenge is the therapist, the queen of cups. There needs to be somebody that you can talk to, or maybe you can talk to this person. I'm not really sure. The, the, I think that somebody might not realize um, what they're doing either to you or you doing to another person 
and, and I'm telling you, fear is involved here. The Queen of Cups is about warm, love, understanding emotions. So there may be a lack of understanding of your own emotions right here. Or, like I said, the energies can be vice versa. Someone around you may not understand how their effect is or what their effect is on you, I should say. So Queen of Cups could be a water sign. Could be a water sign. Let's go to your past position. The Matriarch, the Queen of Pentacles. This is that very um, stand-up lady, independent. She can do, well, not, I will not want to say independent. I want to say not codependent because she's got all her money situation like wrapped up. She is the glue that holds, sorry about that. She's the glue that holds the family together. Um, she likes her luxurious things and she might live a life of luxury. And this might be some of what I was saying about how the underworld is stark contrast to this Queen of Pentacles energy that's really focused mainly on the comfort of them and their family. Um, warm, compassionate, mother-like figure, the matriarch. Hmm. 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 Let's go further. Let's look at your near future like probability or possibility for Capricorn. Possibility maybe for this person since it landed on it. We have six of cups. So it could be talking about a new leader or in the family, like um, somebody very powerful in the family. Maybe this is a power couple structure. Maybe that's changing around. There is a six of cups, so there's this feeling of uh, reunion and celebration, um, family ties, family history, strengthening those bonds. Also, soulmate, possibility of soulmate energy. This could be positive. I mean, the card doesn't really suggest it, but if we're going to be positive, then it's about... Um, good foundations and having a lot of power more than the king would have let's look at your spirit advice for this spread it goes right over over the queen of cups too i'm interested to see what that is one more nope more than one we want more than one something's rebuilding something's rebuilding we have the tower in reverse we have the sun in reverse so there is energy coming. It's not here yet. This energy, I think, is good because the sun comes out with the tower. There is a rearrangement here going on. And either it's your career or it is within a family structure. That is why the tower is here. It's not a bad thing. It's divinely directed here. Just be prepared for it is the situation. There is commitment coming in. There may be a marriage. Or uh, on the dark side, there may be something that is uh, coming apart. Um, maybe counseling is suggested right now, like uh, marriage counseling. I'm not really, I'm not really sure. I don't have a whole hold on this story because there's so many different characters, and with it being a general, it can be so many different things. This is also the builder, the entrepreneur, and then we have the three of pentacles and that spirit saying, "Hey, it's in the works. Whatever this means to you, divine light, sudden change, commitment." signing legal papers, stuff like that. It's all in the works. Whatever that means to you is what the message is. So let's get, let's get you a guardian angel card. I like to end on those and then some tea leaves. So guardian angel card for Capricorn. Angel of power. Okay. This is not bad. This right here, your tower and your sun is bringing in power for you, definitely. We see the building of this power too right here with the three of pentacles. Wow, this is great. When everybody works in co with cooperation and the divine light, good healing energies, um, focusing on virtues and staying morally positive, then we have this power that comes to us with the angel of power. So Capricorn, let's get your tea leaves. Get ready for the power. She looks like Superman. All right, let's see. Tea leaves for Capricorn, please. Let's 
star guaranteed success or you might be working with an Aquarius mountain road you are on the road to success yeah that three of pentacles shows that rabbit too much concern with sexual matters but this also can just mean fertility i take it to mean fertility most of the time sorry about that camera thing there uh fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall Hmm. And, and I see this as like a bulk of money coming to you, like a bulk of money. Maybe that's the sudden, hey, if that's your sudden disruption, then I'll take it. Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. All right. All right. Thank you all for joining me. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm sending you much love and light. Join me for your next reading, Capricorn. Bye-bye.